Hello, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. Yes, these are extremely late. My big apologies to you. I have been really sick. I'm still not completely all the way over it. It has been a week. <laughs> I am I'm still struggling. So, with that being said, we're going to jump into these reads, and we're going to have fun. This read is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. And shout out to um, all of y'all who have been messaging me and asking me what the hell is going on. I haven't posted anywhere, because I have been in bed asleep. I have been really, really sick. So, if I have to stop and pause, or I start coughing, <laughs> whatever, bear with me. All right? So, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. The way these readings are going to go, we're going to go into a general, a single, a couples, and then all signs. Now, remember, if you like tarot and you like to have a good time, then you should hit me up on Instagram and come hang out with me for a happy hour between the hours of 5.30 <coughs> and 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right? <coughs> Let's get into it, all right? I'm going to apologize for the coughing, but I don't know when the cough is going to actually cease and desist. <laughs> it has been extremely hard, guys, so bear with me. Mm. So, on the first, we had that new moon in Scorpio, nine degrees. Your energy for that, and I'm going to be using these um, new cards. I talked about them on the other videos called... Loteria Remedios Oracle by um, Selena Gonzalez. Amazing cards. I recommend you get them. They are amazing. Now, you pulled El Diablito. Look at the artwork on here. This is an amazing energy. He's got the world in his hands, but he is having the energy of what the devil represents. This could really mean, like, how are you confining yourself? How are you keeping yourself held back from getting what it is that you truly want? It could be habits. It could be behaviors. It could be even thinking you can't accomplish it. But the truth of the matter is, is that you can, my friend, and it's time for you to overcome those things, okay? So, with that new moon, hopefully you set some great intentions. Now, on the second, Mercury enters into Sagittarius. Communication was very intense, and I think we're still experiencing a lot of this, like, I'm going to speak my mind, I don't care what anyone else thinks kind of energy, so be aware of that. On the fourth, Mars entered into Leo. Leo, this energy, this strong, powerful voice in the energy of Mars. Mars is in that house saying, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to wreck shop, make decisions, move forward, do what I got to do, all right? So you might find yourself feeling a little froggy and ready to jump, okay? On the 11th, baby, you're going to be looking extra hella good, Capricorn. You have Venus in your sign. It's also Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to all those who have served, who are serving, and are going to serve. Thank you so much. My father's a veteran. He means the world to me. And happy birthday to my beautiful Scorpio. Uh, my daughter turned 16 on that day, and we've been celebrating today. So it's a whole weekend of shenanigans. Mommy-daughter time, all right? On the 15th, Saturn goes direct. Saturn is stationing. It's making its, its position, and it's about to set things on course, okay? We also have on that day the full moon in Taurus, 24 degrees, and you have La Bota. Okay, these boots were made for walking and that's just what you'll do. When this full moon comes through, you're ready to kick all these bad, dirty, dusty behaviors. Bye bye, hasta la vista, see you later. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. All right, and you could be seeing the number 222. This card had the two and then we have the 22 here. So I think that you are really allowing, aligning your energies to change these bad habits and move forward and make a big impact, not only on your life, but on the lives of others. Now, on the 19th, we have Pluto entering into Aquarius. Guys, sit back, watch the shit show go down. And I'm going to say this, guys, with all due respect, this is a very uh, strong time to be alive. In this time, remember, we're all humans and we all have to live together and we should spread love and light. But I'm going to tell you, there are times when you have to protect yourself and speak up. And um, with this energy of Aquarius coming in, this is for the collective. There's big changes coming in. This is about prayer and keeping your vibration high. On the 21st, call out that sexy Sag and let's have a great time, all right? Happy birthday, Sagittarius's. And on the 25th, Mercury retrograde in the sign of Sagittarius. Areas, okay, so very interesting energy that you got the two two two. Remember that as we go through these vibes. Okay, your astrological card this month is that of Cancer. Okay, your opposite. You know, here's Cap, and then there's Cancer. Um, 
this, there could be a lot of healing with the mother. There could be a lot of healing in the house. There could be also a lot of you really wanting to nurture and feel close to people. The fourth house represents your home, your body, your health. Pay a lot of attention to that. I also kind of feel like this is a time for you to nurture your well-being. All right. The energy when love comes through is the spirit fox. You know, foxes are quick, they're cute, and they're cuddly, but they got teeth, all right? Now, I always, I always say things like when they would ask me, does your dog bite? I'm like, well, it has teeth, <laughs> okay? Yeah, it bites, okay? Might not bite me, but it could bite you, all right? So with this, it says, trust your talents in changing times. So <clears throat> there is a lot happening right now. And it is about trusting your instincts, your intuition, being quick on your feet, all right? Moving forward, but trusting what you're feeling. When it comes to love, you also have that of the uh, caught in the ruins, okay? Comes down to card number 16, and right by it was the, was the energy of the Diablo. Do not keep yourself in a situation, a relationship, a partnership, a friendship where you are there because you feel you have to be there. There is freedom. It is your choice. Move forward. Now, May 22nd could be very important for someone, but summertime is going to be a time for you to remember what you planned in tourist season to release because it's going to make a big deal around May in tourist season, okay? Because... You chose during this full moon to kick bad habits. And because you did, you are going to grow and benefit and, and see all of this beautiful energy come back for you. All right. So let's jump into a general reading. Let's see what we got going on for you. So in love, we have somebody who's watching your social media. Someone who's watching you. You got a spy, baby. Leo had a spy too. I had to go back and watch some of the videos. I forgot what's happening. There's a pregnancy or we're birthing something new. Okay, if you can't have a baby, don't get mad at me, okay? Just be like you birth in a new relationship or something, okay? And give it time. Let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Okay, so let's get a little bit more clues on what this spy wants you to know. Someone's got their eye on you. They're looking, they're searching, they're researching. What's up with that? the chaser so this is a person or an individual who possibly like every time you tried to make this work they run they hide they're they're afraid there's some codependency going on let's get a description let's see here we have the stars very beautiful skin could have a possible birthmark on their face round face okay very beautiful they also paint of an illusion of being very committed to you and the innocence of a child this person could be small petite small petite features very they might look younger than what they are okay give me some more clues so capricorn knows what to do we have someone of a different culture or race um, we have a succulent. Maybe they were very into herbalism. I kind of even, okay, this ain't for everybody, but somebody had like uh, a santero or someone who practiced like a different cultural religion than them, a very spiritual religion. They could possibly smoke and they do not want you to know that they're watching. They could have Scorpio energy or they're just very much like to be in the um, unseen realm, okay? They don't like you to know that they're still looking and still watching. Now, the pregnancy card wants you to know someone's expecting, okay? A new phase, rekindling, moving forward, a renewal. Remember, this is not a personal reading, so take the parts that fit. Now, give it time because there is someone who is trying to put you into a third-party situation, move forward, a temptation, something of that nature, okay? So let's see here. What do we got going on? What do we got going on? So right off the bat, we need to make a decision. We're at the two of swords over some form of a verbal conflict or something that like, you're so above that. Like that mouse is super teeny tiny, Cap. Okay. And then we have here the king of pentacles. All right, making an offer, moving forward to the Ten of Pentacles. We know our worth. We know what we want, need, and desire, and justice will be served. So I do feel that there's going to be a balance, and you're going to go for something new. Some of y'all might be faced with this person who's spying or watching or wanting to come back in your life. That individual who's probably getting on your damn dirty nerves um, because they play with your emotions. Um... Mm, let me catch my breath because that individual the spy has an energy 
<coughs> that wants to complicate you. I also feel Capricorn, there is some good things coming in with work. I have the Ten of Cups looking at me, the Ten of Pentacles here. So there could be a job offer or a recognition at work. Now, the person whose spine is like, you tame my demons. Leo got the same thing, okay? I'm holding on to memories of us. That's all you're going to hold, boo. And I need to tell you the truth. What's their overall energy? I've been working hard on myself and I'm not the same. I don't know if that would be true for everyone. I think that's what it's a play-by-play -play situation because you are in a new phase of your life. You're moving forward. And this person could be possibly trying to put you in as a third party or because something's not working out for them. What does the Five of Swords want them to know? The Page of Swords. I feel like you're learning new ways, new skills. You're developing yourself. You're watching your words. And the King of Pentacles said, let's move on. Let's go forward. We're not going to engage in that anymore. There could also be a family trip coming up. Ten of Pentacles wants you to know, know your regal C. Know your worth. Okay? And then Justice wants you to know your intuition is on point. The High Priestess. I want to say November 2nd was very important for you. I feel like you trusted your intuition and you know what you're doing. And you're going to do it your way. You're going to do it the way that you desire. And you're not backing down this time. All right. Let's see here. Let's go to our singles real quick. All right. Singles and ready to mingle. What do we got? What? Whoa. We got a love spell. And, and someone got a love spell. Yeah. Spy again, and then we also have that of challenges. So I do feel like this spy is just really trying to get a hold of you, but patience, my friend, patience. And when I said someone with a spiritual path, if that's not you, don't try to make it fit. But there are some, there's somebody who is dealing with um, an energy that probably like to do love spells or like to do incantations or things like, if that's not your story, don't be like, girl, you're crazy because it's not your story, okay? Oh. Anyways, we're going to keep it moving. Let's see what let's see what the love spell has for you. You're trying to see is it working? <laughs> is it working? Love spell, karmic relationship. This could be from the past, okay? That if we're talking about someone from the past. The spy wants you to know they're very outdated. They're looking at all the stuff that you guys had, replaying events over and over in their head. And the challenges for you are, am I ready to start dating again? Am I ready to move forward? And patience, because someone's mask is about to be removed. So I kind of feel, Capricorn, in this situation, you're kind of like looking at things in a different way. You're like, whoa, this is different. This is not the same. I don't know how I feel about this. So let's see what's going on. Ooh, okay, so we've walked away from something in the past with the Eight of Cups. In the middle, we are at the lovers, okay? We're making right, we're making good decisions. And we're moving forward and we're celebrating. So it could be that your spy is really trying to see, like, they, they got over me? Yeah, they did. Yes, they did. Your cards are flying. You are ready to initiate new things. Get out of your head. You made the right decision. Keep it going. Keep celebrating. Keep moving forward. You also have the number 88 here, so 1988 could be important for you. Now, as I'm looking at this, there's something that you're stressed out about. We're going to look at that, and then I kind of feel like you've left a situation. You're making better decisions because you want a marriage. You want a more committed situation, and by the summer... If this isn't you in a relationship now, by the summer, get ready. 522, very important date for you, okay? Like, May 22nd. Hot and heavy. <laughs> I feel so weird because, like, I want to say certain things and then I lose my breath. <sighs> okay, let's see. Eight of Cups. Let's see, let's see. Eight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles, it took you a while to make this decision. I kind of feel someone made an offer. You didn't like the offer. You're tired of it. Four of Pentacles, you're so bored. You're just like, I got to leave this alone. I got to do what's good for me, Lucius. I got to go. <laughs> like, you're not even trying to play this game. What does the lovers want you to know? Seven of Swords, you have changed your, you've turned your back on that. This could have been even like a quick hookup with someone that you're used to having and you're done. You're leaving the past behind. One more. And you're putting yourself first as the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to say that this person is begging for you. I like it. <laughs> but you're not going to take them back. 
Four of Wands with the Four of Swords. They want to come back, but they don't want you to tell them nothing. Not now, nothing. Don't tell me what I did wrong. Don't tell me nothing. Nah, I don't want to hear it. Okay, okay, we can talk about it. When they see that that energy that they're pushing isn't working anymore, and you're like, no, Five of Swords. You feel so betrayed by this individual, and I'm telling you, two, 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 four, four, four. It's really strong. What does the Ace of Wands want you to know? Be very careful not to fall back into old ways with the Page of Pentacles and be very King of Swords. There's that third party energy, okay? Third party energy. <coughs> There's something sneaky going on here. Something sneaky is going on. And I'm going to, I just kind of feel like in this situation, you need to trust your intuition. Trust it. Don't even play games. Five of Swords. What do you have for us, Five of Swords? We have the Two of Cups. Look, you're going to meet someone who is going to love you. You are going to be happy. Um, 42, 52. There could be an age difference, okay? Two of Swords. You have to make that decision. And there's that two, two, two already. You got to cut the person off that's always doing stuff behind your back. And that is the one from the past. Or the person you're with right now that's trying to make it seem like it's only you, boo. I only got eyes for you when you're in front of me. But when you're gone, I got it for everyone, okay? It's a very sneaky energy this individual has. Eight of Wands, what do you have for us? The Knave of Wands. You're going to go with the one who makes you feel very passionate. The one you see success with. And look, I have the Emperor here. So I kind of feel like this individual kind of plays this, this game with you. They get you in. They lure you in. You know, oh, I'm really in love with you. I really want to be with you. You're not going to play this game anymore. I think you've checked out. I think you're pretty much done here and you're ready to move forward. So I don't care if, if you feel like, oh, my God, I just can never get over this. You walked away. You're bored of this individual. You want nothing to do with them. You have an emperor coming into your life. You're leaving behind the outdated karmic situation. And the challenge for you is learning to move slowly, you know, changing your behaviors because that person's mask is coming off. It's this pretending, deluding, gaslighting personality. Have some patience because they come in tricky. <laughs> this thing is tricky. All right, all right. <laughs> Anyways, they're a little trickster and we ain't got no time for that. Okay, we don't, we don't have no time for that. So that's what I have coming in for you. Let's see who is a good choice or a good connection for them. How do they look? How do they look? How does it look for Capricorn? Let's see. We have small petite features. This person gets very nervous around you. They have a really round face. They're very chubby face. Very cute Leo energy. Libra energy with the mice. Beautiful hair. Beautiful face. Very good looking. Um, and then colored eyes and like salt and pepper hair possibly for some tall individual. Okay. So... Doesn't mean they're going to have all these qualities, right? So let's get some more clues. What do the mice want you to know? The mice want you to know, can we grab a drink? So this person might get very nervous and be like, oh, you know, let's just go grab a drink together. Let's let's go have a quick one. And then I get my liquid courage up. The locket said sushi. Maybe we go have sake and sushi and we're having drinks and I can tell you how I feel about you. The bouquet with the ladder. This person is, I think this person is fairly tall. There's also this energy of maybe there's like a little bit of a wall and they're afraid to let their guard down. In the clouds with the plants, this person is very much into a natural pathic life. They talk a lot about herbs. And then the clock tower, this person could possibly work at a very like pretentious building. And I say pretentious, but like a bank or they dress up to go to work. They're very, they know how to dress, okay? They also want to take you out somewhere nice. It's not always just like, hey, let's go to the taco truck. I ain't going to lie. I'm a taco truck kind of girl. Like, you can take me there. We're going to have beer and taco. Well, I'll have some vodka, but you can have beer and I'll have tacos. As long as I have the cilantro on the side and the, and the onions and a lot of tums. We're good, boo. We're good. <laughs> I'll do a taco truck in a heartbeat, baby. Let's get some guidance for you, all right? Your guidance is community. You need to put yourself out there. Enjoy yourself. Do not get tied up. The 23rd keeps showing up. I'm going to write that day down for you, too. And then we have here the sacral. So a lot of sexual energy. Orange is going to be a great color for you. And keep your heart open, okay? Your arm, your heart is open. And the <laughs> I want to stop. I'm going to stop, okay? 
Community, community. What do you have for us? What is the message there? Also, this is a very cool deck that I got in the mail from someone called Vessel. Thank you very much. I don't know who sent it. Choices. Okay, there's going to be a lot of choices. I also feel you have a lot of options this month, okay? Do not get tied up in fear and do not get tied up in like, oh no, it's not going to work. Your second chakra is to take a rest, take a break. So maybe not a lot of physical action, more snuggling, cuddling, and getting to know each other. And don't feel defeated because you've given your heart so many times and it hasn't worked. All right. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's go to our beautiful single, I mean couples. That's like the third time I've done that. I keep saying singles when it's really couples. Okay. Couples. How are we doing? These are people who know they're together. Okay, people who know they're together. What do we have here? Couples. A narcissist. Well, damn. <laughs> okay, day night. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Gambling. Damn. Okay, so I always like to think about that as problems with finances. And again, there is that spy. Someone is definitely watching you guys. Okay, it came out in each one of those. I need to put a spy, okay? I spy with my little eye, okay? A nosy rosy, okay? The narcissist energy, I think you're realizing your self-worth. It's not so much that you're the narcissist, but you're actually, you've done the work, so you're not feeding into that behavior anymore to others. Date night's going to have a lot of passion, ow, okay? And we need to rethink our ways of finances. And the spy is going to notice that you're out partying with friends, having a good time, and living your best damn life. As you should because you're amazing all right your person's story is the three of pentacles they could be working a lot doing a lot of work um they're thinking about the seven of swords i feel like they feel a little overexposed or they're finding something out or they're afraid you found something out now i did fall by the narcissist card so we shall see okay let's see here Five of Pentacles, okay. I, either that is a financial issue going on, or they feel like you left them out in the cold. And they ain't got no sweater or fur, okay? And they're acting very quiet right now. They're not telling you something. They're very quiet. But you're going to move forward with the Six of Swords and be successful with the Three of Wands. But let's see how this plays out. Overall, we have some major deciding to do. You know, some explaining to do. <laughs> they have some explaining to do, right? Okay. Looking at these cards. The Three of Pentacles by the Nine of, uh, by the Hermit makes me think like, oh, I'm working late. Oh, I'm doing this. Oh, it was just for work. So, like, if you're in a situation where you think someone's kind of giving you the runaround, they are. Okay, but if you're not, hey, that's not for you, okay? It's not your story. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's get these to get a shuffle. Okay. The Three of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Definitely a work situation that maybe you don't have all the information in there, okay? Someone... This is a situation, someone got something at work, and then I have the wheel here. There's a lot of financial issues going on. I got three tens right now, right immediately, right next to each other. Financial issues, this person is not telling you something about work. It's a heavy burden. And the five of wands. I'm trying to see how I can cover this. Somebody found something out, okay? Somebody was snowsy, and they found out. See how everyone's finding something out? Doesn't necessarily have to be a cheating situation. It could be a situation that has to do with work or finances. But something came out. Five of Pentacles with the moon. They feel like you've been holding out on them. Like you knew a secret. Some of y'all have a secret move. <laughs> Damn, Cap. <laughs> and then we have they, that you're the hermit over here. I think you could have found something out. There's some there's, there's some smegs going on over there, okay? I can't say the word. There's everything's so filtered on here. Anyways, you I think you're moving. And I think you're going on a trip. The hermit with the seven of cups. They don't know how to move forward. They don't know what to do. Why not? Why not? They think it's over. The, the world is there. So I feel like they're not telling you something because they don't know what to expect. They're like, whoa, did I really mess up this time? 
Six of Swords with the Hangman. Um, you're just kind of waiting to see what happens. And then there could be a third party or a situation of someone else. I don't ever see in this position it being you. Unless it's not you. Either this person is going to be bringing you information. I am not a big, ooh, cheatery kind of thing. So I think there is a situation with work, okay? This could be a boss, this could be a coworker, this could be a family member. Somebody is getting the information. They don't know how they want to move forward with this work situation. We got to find our balance. And we're going to talk it out. And then we have the strength card with the two of swords. What's on the other side? The knave of swords. So they, they either, your partner either needs to speak up and be about it or bye. You're done. Like I said, this isn't for all. There, there's a situation with work. And they're not telling you all of the information. And there's a lot of nines in this read. So I do feel like there's something that's ending. There's a big change coming in for you, Cap. I kind of feel like if you're thinking this is going to like... So I can read this two ways. Because I don't like to just tell people, oh, someone's cheating. Someone's doing this. Look, what comes between y'all is the Six of Swords, the Hangman, and the Queen of Wands. Look, someone is hanging on to see if something else works out, whether it be a job offer, whether it be another relationship, whether whatever. They're waiting to see. And then you're like, you know what? I've made my decision. I'm not telling you. And I do think that there are some of y'all are thinking about moving on. Um, not all of y'all, but some of y'all are like, I have to move on. Your person isn't being very honest with you. Seven of Swords kind of vibe. This is a big month of change. So let's get some advice. Okay, let's get advice because we don't need to like sit here and try to... Someone is lying about their finances. You do have a good date night coming up. I do think that if you're not sure about the person that you're with, I think there needs to be a major discussion. Okay? What, what else do they need to know in this situation with their partner? A lot of you guys need to get back to the good old days. Having a good date night. Y'all miss that. Someone has been holding back how they're fielding or holding back information. And definitely there are some financial issues where we have different values. Okay? So there has to be some in, some really intense conversations with that. Let's go to the Lenormand and see if there's anything you don't see coming. Okay? Huh. What do they not see coming? What is something they need to know? We have finances. We have the money card with the fish. Financial situation with a home, possibly. Um, a friend could be also coming to visit. Yeah, there's a visit of a friend coming in, and they're not really a friend, okay? It is a snake in the grass, and someone is definitely going on a trip, or you feel like this person is tempting someone on a trip, okay? But there's definitely something with money, something different going on. You're not liking it. You're not, you're not here for the shenanigans, okay? Let me give you a little guidance. We have the second chakra, envy, that's that snake. We got to take action, and we need to start praying. We need to start praying. We need to put our protection up. We need to ask God, the higher power, to come through and reveal what needs to be revealed. Second chakra, your creative energy is childhood. There's also some childhood wounds that need to be worked on, and there could also be some things with children going on, okay? Envy, we have to change that energy, we have to clear, we have to cleanse. What are we putting into action? We're going to take care of ourselves, self-care. And the door to spirit says it's okay to be upset because Holy Spirit, God, angels, your guides are going to be right there with you and they're going to comfort you. You are my shining star. That's what I hear in my head. I don't even know where that's from. All right, this is the part of the read where we go all signs, Aries to Pisces. No, I feel like I've been talking forever. I need a break. It's only the first video. All right, let's see here. We have that of the Ten of Wands with the Empress Reverse. Someone could be finding out about a difficult pregnancy. There's also someone who's finding out about a pregnancy that is might be unwanted or not yours and it's interfering. Someone feels a little bit empty, okay? Not everybody. That ain't everybody. <coughs> All right, here you are. I'm so in love. 
And Aries is like, I trust my intuition. You want more fun. You want to make it spicy. And they're learning you. They're trying to figure you out. The Eight of Pentacles. There's also a lot with work going on and you guys establishing things. The 16th could be important. Here you are praying. And Taurus is like, we got the victory. We got this. You need to find your strength. And, and, you, and you feel like they're taking too long to come through with it. Your lucky day is the 11th. What, is, what are they praying for? For if there is a mask or something you need to know, I think you're asking for it to all be revealed. Here you are taking a break. Gemini is wanting an unconventional relationship. You are like offering your cup of love. And Gemini is making a bunch of promises. Um, solution, the third, I mean, the third could be very important. I think in this situation, you guys need to, have to figure out what does love mean to you? What does it look like? And, um, how can we move forward? Here you are working your little tail off, okay? And cancer is being impossible. They're like, my way or the highway, guy. <laughs> and you're like, eat it. Eat a fat pickle. <laughs> and they're like, whoa, maybe I, need to, maybe I need to reconsider the way I did that. They didn't expect for you to stand your ground. And cancer says, okay, how do we heal this? How do we move forward? I don't know what to do. Cap. You are the queen of swords. Oh, my God, I like it, okay? And Leo said, I like it too. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, let's talk about it. But you're like, I have a lot of options. I don't really know if I want to settle down. And they're like, can I, can I just have a piece? So I feel like this is a very sexual connection. You guys are very attracted together, and there's a lot of communication. You haven't made up your mind. The third could be important. You haven't made a decision. You kind of feel like there's a false sense of peace. Virgo's not really giving in to you with the hangman. There's a lot of secrets being revealed with the moon reversed. And they're not meeting you in the middle. Everyone's reversed. There's a lot of things being hidden and you're finding them out. And the first was important. I don't even see y'all talking. All right. I have the Prince of Cups right here. That's you. You're like, I'm carrying your love with me. All right, George Strait. And then we have Libra. They're tired. They, they don't. They're like, you you win. <laughs> Libra's done. And you're like, oh, no, nah, no. Nah. What's my name? You're like, you can look, but you can't touch. And they're just, they're tired. They're tired of the chase. They're like, I give up. All right, lucky day is the seventh. You feel a little manipulated with the magician reverse, almost like you're not even showing everything out there. And Scorpio is uh, the devil. So the magician and the devil, those are two majors. What's the behavior of the wheel? You're like, let let happen what's going to happen. And they're like, I ain't got no time to wait. So I feel like you guys are kind of stuck in a situation. There's four majors here. This is a huge decision for you guys this month. I also feel like you allowing things to play out, you're going to see... You're going to see Scorpio's true colors, all right? The 18th could be important. Here you are <coughs> praying. Sagittarius is very much in love with you. You're like, yes, I'm in love with you too. And they're like, let's change and let's make this happen. These have two majors going on between each other, the sun and death. This is like major changes coming in. And I have another spirit guide here at the bottom. I kind of feel like you guys are talking about marriage, talking about moving to the next level. You guys are really into each other and very much in love. And you, yeah, you're like, I want all the relationship to be over. If this doesn't work, there will be no second chance. You are ready to get married, okay? And the other Capricorn is not really feeling this. You're like, I'm in control. And they feel attacked. Um, and the other Capricorn could find out that they could be having a difficult pregnancy or something going on. The 20th could be important. Hold on. All right, you are very conflicted with the Five of Wands. Aquarius says, let's start over. Let's do this again. You're like, too many red flags here with the Ten of Swords. And they're like, let's go for it. <laughs> Aquarius is like, I don't care. The 16th. You are here with the Three of Wands. You're like, I love it, okay? I love it here. And Pisces is not in love. They are done, okay? Whoa. I have you as the Nine of Pentacles reversed. You're just tired of the fight. They're spinning their wheels. And you're actually looking in the other direction. So I kind of feel like in this situation, you're kind of over it. 
Pisces is over it too, and you need to keep your boundaries up with Pisces so they don't play you, okay? So that's what I have for you, and your lucky day is the 18th. So guys, I hope you have a beautiful month. Stay tuned. If I don't um, get too much sicker, I will come back with some reads. Come hang out with me on Instagram, and be blessed. Take care.